Hey, what's up, astronaut? This week, Friday, we are launching Riot for Serum. Roll the demo. Pretty fucking awesome, right? We're actually closing down early access to the pack in a few days, so if you wanna go ahead and sign up for early access while you still can, click the link at the top of the description down below. Anyway, today, we are going to be making the most beautiful, fat sub bass you have ever heard in your life and this is what it sounds like fuck that's fat hey what's up astronauts it's your favorite space cowboy shane from rocket powered sound reporting live from somewhere in jupiter anyway guys let's just go ahead and jump straight into today's tutorial i cannot wait to show you this secret sauce it's a secret sauce behind sub basses that sound fat and it's really really cool you can use this in any of your songs so without further ado First things first, turn on all of our oscillators. We wanna be using all three because that's gonna allow us to have like the most fatness possible. So the key to the subs here is all in the sine waveforms, okay? Sine waveforms are super smooth and they sound really good at low octaves and they're very, very vibrant, especially when we're working in those low frequencies. They sound like very luscious to our ears. So of course we're using a sine, that's pretty straightforward for subs, but going into the sub oscillator, go ahead and turn it up one octave and we're just gonna turn on the level down to around 25%. Now guys, the reason we're doing this is because it's for the fatness. We wanna add in like multiple layers to the sub. So we're not just having like one, one static waveform. We wanna have multiple, you know, adding in the thickness. Now oscillator A, go to basic shapes and then we're just gonna leave it on a sine waveform. Okay, like I said, and we're, we're not gonna do anything for that waveform. Now oscillator B, basic waveforms again, or basic shapes. And instead of doing a sine, we're actually gonna go all the way over here to uh, position number three, which is a triangle waveform. I know you're thinking, what are you doing, Shane? Guys, we're gonna be doing something that's very, very cool. Turn on the sink, and when we start to turn up the sink, you're gonna realize, holy shit, there's all these extra uh, cycles of the waveform that are being introduced into one single cycle. And yeah, that's really awesome because now we have the complete control over um, you know, what exactly the pitch or whatever of this specific waveform is. So now I like to leave it at 2.83. So the reason we're not going to a full three, which would be two octaves higher than the original pitch that we started with, is because when we have partials, this creates like a really cool harmonic sound. So without the sync, this is what it sounds like. All right, now we turn on the sync. And as you can hear, there's a major difference here. Um, guys, just putting this partial frequency in here makes the harmonics in the sub bass sound so incredibly thick and vibrant. Like this is literally what does it, the triangle. Um, triangles are super smooth, not exactly the same. They don't carry the same harmonic sequences as, uh, or frequencies as the sine does, but it works so well. You can also change up the tone by switching it to a sine, but the triangle works best. Like this, this combination is and it's unstoppable. It's absolutely insane. Anyways, that's it for the bulk. Now you're gonna notice that we have a lot of high end coming out of oscillator B because we just turned up the pitch a bunch and it's like a partial tone which makes it kind of sound a little a little bit crispy at the top and we don't want crispy at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on a low pass and then just cut out the frequencies only for oscillator B. And boom, fixed our problem. Now guys, into the effects section. Uh, first effect on the list is gonna be a multiband compressor. Turn on multiband. Okay, move the compressor to the top here. And all we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna mess with the bands. Take our high band, move that all the way down to zero. And then our mid range, you know, we don't want as powerful. So we're gonna put this at 70%. So now the multiband's not compensating for the high end or anything like that that's missing out. Instead, we're just smoothing out the frequencies. Now, guys, turn on our distortion. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn on our soft clip, and we're just gonna turn up that drive all the way. So now we added in an extra tone to the sound, but we don't want, we just want that to be supplementary and add in more to the overarching uh, thickness and fatness of it. So we wanna turn on the mix so we have the OG sound processing through. Finally, guys, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our filter, but we're not done. We're not done just yet, guys. We also have to do one more thing after, but it's very simple. And we're just gonna leave the filter just like that, all right? We're not gonna touch anything. Now, this part's super simple. You know, it's just not punchy enough right now. So we're gonna take our LFO one 
and we're gonna take LFO1 in the matrix, go to global master tune. So now we are modulating the master tune, not just the tune of any specific uh, waveform. The reason we do this is because as you can see, we can't like drop this onto the pitch of the sub. So we go to the master tune and we can go ahead and mess with the overarching tune, the overall tune of the entire synth. So go ahead and turn up the amount to nine. Hey, that's about one octave and then in the LFO one we're just gonna put this on envelope so it just cycles through one and then goes to the pitch that we want we can actually just make sure there and then just put this at like 1 8th or 1 16th now it's gonna go ahead and drop the pitch and it's gonna sound like even fatter and that right there guys is all you have to do to make the most perfect beautiful harmonic sub bass I've ever heard. Like so many people ask me tutorials on how to do this. And all this is is a variation of the XXX Tentacion uh, sub bass that tutorial I did about a year ago. But this right here is insane for dubstep. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on this video. And if you're new here, you're missing out on astronomical serum tutorials. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you never miss a tutorial. Anyway guys, I'm Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound and I'll catch you astronauts in another serum tutorial.